Hey guys, it's I Want a Turtle, and today we're going to be opening a uh, Corset 2019 bundle. Uh, this is something we opened in the past, and we were actually quite fortunate where we were able to draw uh, two Planeswalkers. Not the best one, but we did get a Sarkin, which, Sarkin, which is pretty good. The Tezzeret is just okay, uh, but I do like Tezzeret as a Planeswalker in general. Uh, I was always a big fan of uh, artifact-based decks. So, let's see if we can't repeat some of that good fortune we had last time. Uh, as far as definitely the the card that I would like to pull the most would be uh, the Nico Bolas. Um, always thought he was a very cool planeswalker. Well, I'm not I'm not too familiar with the backstory behind him. So, got our die our lands that we don't really care about, and then our 10 packs. All right, so let's get started. Um, so the new set is coming out later in the month. Um, and uh, you know, let me know what, what cards you guys are excited about. Uh, hopefully you can, we can get some and then um, uh, open some packs once that comes out. All right. Seven, Blood Lord, and Graveyard Marshal. Uh, when I was looking through, ooh, we do have a foil, it's Kelton Archer. Uh, when I was looking through the, the spoilers, um, a couple things caught my eye. Uh, some stuff that I kind of surprised by, so I feel like usually like the, the Hydra cards that are always in sets, I feel like they're almost always garbage. But there was one in the upcoming set where the where X, so it costs two and then X, and for X, uh, half of X rounded down, uh, you draw and you gain life. Where the gain life is not that important. Uh, split flame. Where you draw that many cards, so. Uh, yeah, you do need a lot of mana to actually make it worthwhile. Like, you just draw one, so it's basically like a 2-2 two, two for 4, and draw one card and gain one life, that's not worth it, but um, I would say after that, it's not bad. And, uh, let's see, you have the shock lands again, which are always pretty good. Uh, ew, bushes. Uh, you know, useful for... Um, certain, certain formats that use the Death Shadow is the coolest interaction, in my opinion. Um, the Haunt card that basically whenever you attack, the opposing player discards a card. Sounds ridiculous to me. Uh, it is a 6 drop, but that just sounds so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we got another Sarkhan, which is... Uh, as far as planeswalkers go, like really good. <laughs> um, would prefer a different one, but not gonna complain. Uh, let's see, one that sounded really good was the Deputy of Detention, which, you know, there's been very similar cards that are like very similar. I think their other one was like a 1 3 as well, that uh, basically when you play it, it exiles something, although this one. Uh, can do all the cards with that same name, which is obviously can have much more value. Okay, Paradise, Arcane Encyclopedia, Knightly Valor, and Demissive Pyromancer. Uh, never was a big fan of these draw one discard cards. Ooh, opening, open the graves, foil rare. Non token creature dies, create. Yeah, that sounds a little pricey, but sounds pretty good. We'll save that card. And then uh, the last card that kind of caught my eye. Uh, don't think it's crazy good, but I feel like it has potential. It would be the. Um, the Sphinx that. Basically, at the start of your turn, you always scry one, so it can definitely help out. Uh, sort out your draws. 
as you do. You'll scry one before you draw. But yeah, if there's any cards that I'm kind of missing that I'm not really aware of, let me know. Alright, make a stand. Nightmare's Thirst. Vigilant Bailoff. And... Lack of worm. How many cards is how many times is this card printed? Jeez. Alright, more than halfway through. Uh did get one mythic, so definitely as far as the mythics go, uh, got a, a ratio that we're definitely happy with, with still some time to do even better. But as far as this actually as far as corsets in general goes, yeah they're Nothing special, there are some cards that you know, I'm definitely looking to get, but in general, not as exciting as some of the, the other sets. Alright, Exile card from Target Player's Graveyard. Um, it's not bad. Then a Foil Fiery Finish. Actually, one other card that I feel like it's not going to be that good, but a card that, I always, that I'll, I'll definitely want, like to get was the... I don't remember what it's called, but essentially it's a creature version of New Phyrexia's Birthing Pod, where I was always a big fan of that card. I feel like people tried it and to limited success, but I just like the idea of um, ramping up based on monsters that you already have on the on the battlefield. The only benefit... Uh, Downsides, you're gonna do it at sorcery speed, despite it being a monster. All right, so we got the Thopterus. Sacrifice two draw a card. Eh. So the fact that they're bringing back that that mechanic, I guess, um, I am a fan of. Uh, the fact that it's a creature as opposed to um, the birthing power is an artifact. Uh, although the Birthing Pod, you could use a Phyrexia mana to in order to play it. Okay, so Jewel Sword, 2 0. Okay. Alright, last pack. Lava X. Alright, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hellion, Druid of Horns, Fell Spectre, and Demon of Catastrophes. Sacrifice a creature. Eh. That's okay. Um, so, uh, not too bad to get a one mythic planeswalker. Actually, one, one thing about the new set, I feel like there's a, a number of three mana planeswalkers that just feel like they did very little, uh, which is you know kind of expected. But to say, like, I, I'm very curious to if they are viable at all. I feel like it'll either be they are really good or really bad. So excited to see how that plays out. Um, so yeah, not a bad opening. Um, Thanks for watching guys and uh, definitely like video, subscribe for future content just to support uh, the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.